Well, good morning, Interbed fans, and welcome to the preview for Gravel. We're on the Poly Track Monday, the 17th of July, and uh, what a shocking race card. Uh, and you start off with um, 12 30 in an eight race program, two conditional maiden plates. Now, conditional maiden plates, as you know, I can't stand these races. They are uh, handicapped maidens, and as a result, impossible to read the form and you always get some type of upset here. With the scratching of four runners, the favourite and the second favourite have both been scratched, and obviously they looked at the weights and they thought, well, we're not going to get involved here, um, because they've got to give weight to um, sort of maidens uh, that they shouldn't be giving weight to. So let's have a look at it. Well, the two-year-old railroad looks like the right horse number six. He's got to carry 58 kilos. Uh, and he's going to give three and a half kilos to the three-year-old filly, uh, lots of magic. Uh, so that's well in at the weights, really well in at the weights, and it's got at 16 to 1. So that goes into all my play, uh, lots of magic. King Spear, another one, looks extremely well in here uh, with a 55 on its back. Uh, if you go back to the Maserati Raw run, you'll see that it's very well in with um, the, what was the favourite and has now been scratched. And um, it's got five kilos off its back. So King Spear, huge runner at uh, 25 to 1. Um, what else is there? Well, I think that um, uh, Breath of Magic might improve on the poly track with um, Fani Broncos, Calvin Habib, that's number four. Uh, Oshkati got good form, but got to carry 60 kilos around here. So Oshkati's got to give, um, oh, like, uh, Three and a half, uh, five and a half kilos to lots of magic and um, five kilos to King Spear. This is what makes a difference in these races. So hopefully this helps you in the way we analyze them. Let's go to race two, which is a conditional maiden over a mile. Well, it's even more prevalent here because you go a mile. And uh, Zabadak looks like the only horse that can win of the older horses. Uh, and this is such a bad field. It really is a shocking bunch of horses. But the weights are so close together that you've got to believe Zabadak's um, the right horse. George Handel um, has got 59 kilos, a two-year-old. Got to go a mile against a three-year-old at level weight. I think that he's going to battle like anything. Because Zabadak gets one and a half claim as well. And Rachel Venick is the best one and a half claimer in the whole wide world, I can tell you. Um, there's no better claimer than Rachel Venicker. Tiger Spring obviously got some sort of chance. Let's go on to race three where we start getting into the handicaps and <laughs> the handicaps no easier because they all depend on the pace. So my top choice here is number 11, Brave Voyager. Dennis Walsh is taking the blinkers off, but um, it's a front runner and Samanga Kamala rides this horse very, very well. I think he's one from one on it. So you've got to believe that he's going to get, a, get it up there. Now, if he gets it up there and is able to dictate should go very well. Three in the summertime from the very informed Gareth Van Zell stable and congratulations to him on his four timer yesterday. Uh, really he is in top form and a couple of them ran second but the one that we find Sapolia in the big sprint was 16 to 1 and it ended up uh, like paying nine rand on the tote which was a very poor payout. We thought we'd pay more than that and that's the problem with the open bet you're not getting the proper value. Um, okay, so in the summertime, one from one course um, on the course, and uh, if this uh, suits him and he's fit, he'll go very well. Gareth does get them fit. Exceed expectations, might improve, but get Daryl Daniels, that's not in his favour. Final Destiny and Fever both got chances. Raven Sword could be the big improver in this race, but let's see how that one goes. Been quiet of late. Race four, narrow rated 90 fillies and mares, 1800 meters. Now the find of the race is number three, Marshiri Amor. This um, has got a couple of good forms. Uh, I think is very well weighted in a race like this with 52 and a half on its back. And I like Marshiri Amor, 10 to one, Muzieni gets the ride on from a very good draw, will go well. The big danger's got to be Grand Dioch Orechie. And um, Grand Orechie, Magudwa for the Fanzel stable, huge, huge runner. Um, let's not linger five out of six on the poly and gets uh, Keegan DeMella. 
that's not a 10 to 1 shot and Ice Sensation got very good form um, and hit his speed rating but uh, might be flattered by his last run. We'll see how this race turns out. Race 5, merit rated handicap, they got 1900 meters. I'm going for Afropolitan, the Gareth Van Zell run. I think he'll have another huge day today. Um, a very good form and is a known front runner and that will suit it extremely well here. Six Spirit of My Fate, seven Time Taker, which is well clear on the speed rating, could be the big dangers. Race six, um, Mare rated 68, Phillies and Mares, they go 1,000 meters. Now my find of the race is number six, Vision of Will. Uh, Samanga Kamala, one from one on this horse, got some form this horse and seemed pretty well weighted in a race like this and I think you're going to find they're going to go. Magic Lee, uh, very fast, gets Keegan DeMello, he might dictate it from the front. And then the Joburg Raider, not striding out last, um, a very good post maiden form, ran second to double green. That would give it a huge chance in a race like this if she's uh, fit and well. She's got a small profile, only had nine runs, one win in four places. Um, but she has got to give uh, a hard knocker like Vision of Will four kilos. That not, might not be easy. Race seven, merit rated 1,200 meters. And um, uh, I made a three cornered contest. I like one shifting path. Ran from 12 out of 12 last time. Robert Carty's now got to draw one. Let's see if he can make the best use of it. If he can, very hard to beat this horse. Um, the dangers, number 10, Purple Powerhouse. I think this will go very well with the 4 kilogram plan. If he gets it up there, uh, the 4 kilogram makes a big difference. We saw him win on a horse the other day. Uh, had no right to win, but um, he got to the front and they couldn't hunt him down. Pake and Mali um, from the same colors. Got to go extremely well too. He's got very good form. Gets Richard Furry. Dark Tide is an improver. Preemptive Strike and Aggressivio all got chances. So not an easy race. And then Georgie George, I must mention this one. Ran on last time. Look for a big improvement from Georgie George. Number 12. Tough race. Race 8. Merit rated Phillies and Mares. They go 1,400 meters. And my top choice here is a little bit naughty. Uh, I've chatted to Joe D'Amato from the International Racing Club. He's very transparent, Joe. And he said it just needed the last run was getting ready for this race. And uh, they do like it here, then going to stud. So this is his last crack, going to go well. Rowan's Dream might be a find of the race. Um, two not bad runs at all. And uh, could be an improver off a low merit rating. 68, it got two points drop for his last run. And that gives a... Uh, uh, a very good chance. Fortune Ice, uh, I thought this might run well. And then English Primrose, stable change, maybe improve this one uh, against Robert Carty from Draw 4. So have a close look at that for your big exotics. From me, James Goodman, and the whole Interbet team, you have a great day's racing at uh, Gravel on the Poly.